Hello and welcome back to the series on sp uh, Spacey for the purposes of DH in Python. In the last video, we looked at these noun chunks and we were able to extract uh, sections of text that had noun chunks. In this video, we're going to move away from nouns and start working with verbs. Verbs in language are much more nuanced than nouns, not just because in inflected languages they can take a lot more... Uh, have a lot more uh, or, uh, conjugations and forms, but because uh, verbs and verb phrases do not always follow a consistent pattern. Sometimes you can have an adverb and then a verb, sometimes a verb, then an adverb, sometimes some uh, multiple adverbs. And so the way in which you think about uh, kind of verb phrases is going to be a little bit more nuanced than how you think about noun chunks. And for this reason, in Spacey, we have a lot of control over our um, over our uh, verb phrases. So what we're going to do in this video is show you how to first find verbs and list them all out, and then how to do something more complicated and start finding and extracting very specific uh, verb phrases that follow a specific pattern or patterns. So let's go ahead and just uh, let's just delete all of this. We're going to work back here with sentence once again, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to have to actually import this other module up here, text to see. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and import text to see. And what we are going to do, and you're going to want to pip install it too. It doesn't come stock with a uh, spacey. What we're going to do is we're going to create an object. And I'm going to explain this object in just a second. This object is going to be patterns, and this patterns are going to be a specific series of patterns in the text that you want to extract. So, for example, if a part of speech is, or if a verb phrase that you want to find is an adverb and then a verb, then what you're going to do is do something like this. You're going to have POS, part of speech, and you're going to have adverb, and then you're going to have a comma after this dictionary, and then you're going to have POS, part of speech, <laughs> not the other thing that people think about, uh, and then we're going to have verb. And this is going to be explained in just a second. What we're going to do is we're going to try to find in document, which our dot our doc object, which is chapter one, all the occurrences of this specific pattern. Now, if you look at earlier spacey tutorials, you'll you'll see a depreciated way of doing this using regex. This way is the new way. It's the more Pythonic way, and it's the standard way to do it since I think 2019. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another object, and we're going to call this verb phrases. And this is going to be equal to text to see. So we're calling our text to see module dot extract dot matches. And we're going to pass in two arguments here. The first argument is going to be doc. This is the text that we want to analyze. And the next thing we're going to pass in is a very specific argument uh, pattern, which is going to be equal to patterns. And what it's going to do is it's going to look at our pattern right here. It's going to read that in and it's going to look for any occurrence of that pattern in the document which is going to be just chapter one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say for verb phrase and verb phrases. Ooh, there we go. We want to print off the verb phrase. So what it's going to do is it's going to run through and look for this specific occurrence, and we're going to extract that. And you can do this for any verb phrase. And what do we have here? Hmm. Oh, that's why. Patterns, plural. Sorry about that we're going to look for this specific pattern. And what you see here throughout the entire chapter, we've extracted all instances where a adverb is preceded by a verb. Now we can switch this around. We can put it up here. If we want to look for the other way around, we can just simply say verb followed by adverb. And now what you can do is you can run this exact same thing, but in the other direction. So feel very, ran close, etc. on down the list. This is how you extract verb phrases, and they can be much more complicated than this simple verb phrase. You can look for other patterns. We can look for an instance where, let's go ahead and add this in here, where a noun, I am not even sure because I haven't tested this, if this is going to show up anyth anything. So this would be like, she ran quickly, something like that. We'll see if there's any occurrences of this kind of a structure. Eyes ran close, hole went straight. There you go. This very specific pattern occurs this many times. You can already see the potential of this. And I know what you're thinking. So in order to do this, you're going to have to come up with all these different adverbial 
uh, situations and account for them? The answer is yes. But the good news is that we, because this is a list, we can actually structure this as, a, uh, as multiple lists within this list. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to make this our first set. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another pattern that I want to have. And I just want to extract all instances where, let's do that. Um, I'm not even sure this would actually occur, but we're going to look for all occurrences where we're going to add that there. So we have another set of uh, stuff that we can look for. We're going to have POS noun. Let's think of something else. Let's say pronoun. And what this is going to do is it's going to look for, as you can see, we have a lot more returns. We still have that initial return of all of these things here, but what it's doing is it's looking for two different kinds of patterns. The first one in this first list, and it's important to nest that list. And then we have a comma to separate our second nested list within that list. And it's gonna look for this. And we can see that it's found all these extra examples, not just when a noun is specifically being used, but when specifically a pronoun is being used. So this is kind of how you look for verb phrases. Now there's a couple different ways we can just look for verbs. You could just simply delete all of this and use text to see to just look for verbs and you can extract. Nope, you can't. Oh, there we go. That's why. <laughs> and run that and it'll just look for any occurrence of any verb and you extracted all the verbs. So that's one way in which you can do it. The other way is to do it the same way I showed you, and I believe it was uh, tutorial number five, when you can just look at parts of speech and instead of looking at nouns, look at verbs. But this is where you can do it with text to see. So text to see is very powerful in that you can extract specific matches. The other thing that you need to be familiar with when it comes to verbs, and this is also going to apply to nouns, is that nouns and verbs, unlike prepositions and things like that, will take a very specific form depending upon their place in a sentence. And in the next video, we're going to look at how to extract words, not based on their form in the text, but in their root word. And this is called lemmatization. L-E-M-M, here, I'll spell it out. L-E-M-M-A-T-I-T, -I, I can't even spell. Lemmatization. There we go. Something like that. Uh, forgive me if that's spelled incorrectly. But we're going to be looking at that in the next video. And the reason why understanding lemmas is important is because lemmas allow for you to find all forms of a verb and count how many times that verb exists in a text across all of its different conjugations or declensions, whether it's a verb or a noun. That's going to be it for this video, though. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below and visit us at pythonhumanities.com.